Five years ago, Creative Hive started. We're still both working at CTV at the time. I can remember standing in the middle of this warehouse with Mike Ty and he said, I've got an idea. I was just at a conference in Minneapolis and went to this place and it was just amazing. There's this thing in the States I saw and it's like co-working and they had all these cool food trucks in there and everybody came in and they all worked together and they did stuff together and but they had their own businesses. And, and it was used for co-working, events, everything like that. So we're like, what about something like this? I was like, yes, let's do that. Let's create that right here in the middle of a warehouse that smells so bad we had to go like this. I remember all you could smell was like gas from the vehicles in here and it was dirty and you were telling me this idea about how you were gonna make the creative hive and I thought you had lost your mind. <laughs> but slowly we would see it come together and like every day I was just like, I never could have imagined it. And then it just happened. Slowly but surely we started to create it. We did it all ourselves, which is incredible. And by ourselves, I mean with our family, our community. We started the Creative Hive to change the definition of creative. Because right, when you think of creative, what comes to mind? An artist, a painter, a sculptor, anything that you physically see, right? But why? Why is that the definition? Why isn't creative the idea for anybody? And then events. Well, events never were in our vision at all, right? And then we had uh, a friend of ours who, uh, who used to work at CTV. Uh, she was launching a podcast. And she's like, can I hold my launch there? I'm like, well, we're not really open yet. We're not really built, finished building yet, but sure, if you want. And she came in, she hired lighting and decor and everything and just made this place look amazing. And then it hit social media. Social media has been our friend. And as you dream, things can change and grow and you hope that they change and grow and then COVID comes and boom, everything stops. We've evolved from, you know, got COVID shutting us down for the most part to, you know, building it back up. And then a year of trying to get permits to expand the place and we finally are successful in doing that. So we get to make this place bigger, cooler. With the help of the community and the people around us, we're still here. And not only are we still here, we're growing. And we're hoping to bring in markets and having an event space for, you know, 250 people so we can create more connections and more community each and every time that's here. It's lifting up the small businesses that are within these walls to create what they want to create and do what they want to do so they see their success. That's the exciting part is, is you know, building a place that people just love coming to. It's a team effort and there's so many people that are jumping on board to be a part of it and I'm excited for everybody to meet them. So I would like everyone out there to see our vision come to life and uh, see everyone that is putting the hard work to put this place together, like the, the businesses that, that are putting in their time and effort and like showcasing amazing businesses that people probably don't know a lot about because we're, we are in an industrial area in the West End that there's not a lot around. I see the Creative Hive in five years being a hub for this area of the city. Bringing new businesses to this area, bringing more growth to the city and showcasing a part of the city that maybe hasn't been showcased before because there are so many incredible small businesses over here already. And that's what we're gonna do with this series is show you the people that are coming through the Creative Hive to help us create a larger Creative Hive. Who are they? What do they do? What do they mean to the community? Who is their family? What do they love? What do they want? It's the stories of everybody that come together at the end. So buckle up, because Creative Hive is adding a few new hives to our vicinity, and I can't wait for you to meet all the people in here.